welcome back for another Flex Time Review. Today's review is going to be all about our Swiss friend Jean Piaget and his theory on cognitive development. As always, in the description box you will find a link bringing you to a worksheet that goes along with the video. So, let's get started. Jean Piaget was a cognitive psychologist who in the 1930s would pioneer his theory of cognitive development, which basically explains how we construct mental models of our world. Piaget disagreed with the conclusion that intelligence was a fixed trait and instead believed that cognitive development was a process that occurs through biological developments and interactions with the environment. In the 1920s, Piaget had a job at the Binet Institute where he would develop French versions of questions on English intelligence tests. Piaget became curious at the reasoning children would give for their wrong answers to questions that required logical thinking. Piaget wanted to further investigate these incorrect answers, believing that they showed us important differences between the thinking of adults and children. It was not until 1936 when Piaget published his findings on his theory of cognitive development. Prior to Piaget's work, the common belief in the field of psychology was that children are less competent thinkers than adults. Piaget is going to show that young children reason in wildly illogical ways about problems where the solution might be pretty obvious to an adult. Piaget believed that the driving force behind intellectual progression is our struggle to make sense of our experiences. There are going to be three basic components to Piaget's theory. We have schemas, adaptation, and his cognitive stages of development. And we are going to go over each one. As I just mentioned, Piaget believes that children are active thinkers who are constantly trying to make sense of the world. In doing so, they construct schemas. A schema is just going to be a concept or framework that organizes and interprets information. By the time we have reached adulthood, we have created countless amounts of schemas. To explain how we use and adjust our schemas, Piaget theorized two concepts of adaptation. Assimilation is when we interpret new experiences in terms of our existing schemas, while accommodation is going to be when we adapt our current understanding to incorporate new information. So how about we explain this with an example. Two-year-old Billy just learned what a dog was from his picture book. Later that day, Billy sees a cat and calls it a dog. Billy is trying to assimilate this new animal into an existing schema. Billy's dad corrects him and says, no Billy, that's a cat. Billy accommodates his schema for animals and continues to modify the schema to include things such as a mommy cat, a baby cat, a cowboy cat, a pirate cat, whatever. Children are basically just going to constantly modify their schemas as they interact with the world. Now onto Piaget's theory of cognitive development. His theory is basically going to suggest that children move through four separate stages of cognitive development which reflect a higher level of thinking. Remember, Cognition is just going to include all mental activities associated with thinking, knowing, and remembering. Each stage will reflect a change in some aspect of cognition. Stage 1 is going to be our sensory motor stage. Lasting from birth to nearly 2 years of age, babies experience the world through sensory and motor interactions. At the beginning of this stage, Piaget found that babies tend to live in the present, so if the child didn't see it, it doesn't exist. Piaget would present an infant with a toy, place his beret over it, and observe what the child would do. Piaget found children younger than six months would not search for the toy. This is because young infants lack what is known as object permanence. Object permanence is just going to be the awareness that things continue to exist even when we're no longer perceiving them. From ages two to seven, we have our next stage of development, the pre-operational stage. During the pre-operational stage, the child learns language but does not yet comprehend the mental operations of concrete logic. During the pre-operational stage, children are very egocentric meaning that the child is unable to take another point of view. Piaget would go up to Billy and say, Hey Billy, do you have a brother? And Billy would reply, Yes, Bobby. Piaget would then ask Billy, Does your brother Bobby have a brother? And Billy then would respond with no, due to his egocentric thought. It's the same reason why a preschooler might stand in front of you while watching TV, think that you can see what they can see. It's not their fault they're selfish, it's just their lack of cognition. Children in this stage also lack the concept of conservation, which is just the principle that the quantity remains the same despite changes in shape. So if Billy is saying that it's not fair that he only gets two fish sticks and his brother got three, his dad could just break one of Billy's fish sticks into half just to make him happy. From ages 7 to 11, children enter the next stage of cognitive development, the concrete operational stage. Piaget considered the concrete operational stage a major turning point in the child's cognitive development. This is because it marks the beginning of logical or operational thought. According to Piaget, during this stage, children fully gain the mental ability to understand mathematical transformations and conservation. By age 12, we reach our final level of cognitive development, the formal operation stage. New to this stage is our ability to think in abstract terms. Children in this stage are able to think hypothetically as well as deduce potential consequences. 
the child has the ability to plan for the future and think creatively. Piaget tested this stage of development using the pendulum task. For those of you who don't know, a pendulum is just a weight hung from a fixed point so that it can freely swing back and forth. In this particular task, children were tasked with creating a pendulum that would swing the fastest. They were presented with several strings and weights and had to consider three variables. The length of the string, the heaviness of the weight, and the strength of the initial push. Piaget found that children in the formal operation stage would approach the task systematically, testing one variable at a time to see its effectiveness. Younger children would often randomly change multiple variables at a time, making it more difficult for them. Piaget concluded that the scientific approach taken by older children are characteristics of formal operational thought. Now, is a theory really a theory if it has not gone through some form of rigorous evaluation? I think not. While very groundbreaking at the time, Piaget's theory is quite controversial today. Now, several studies around the world do agree with Piaget's sequence of cognitive development, but not necessarily in the stage-like fashion that Piaget proposed. Today, psychologists look at development as more of a continuous act. Russian psychologist Lev Vygotsky believed that Piaget did not take into account social factors in regards to cognition, while cognitive psychologist René Balrigian <laughs> René Balrigian René Balrigian René Balrigian I don't know Balrigian while cognitive psychologist René Balrigian believes that Piaget underestimated the cognitive abilities of infants and young children. Even with its criticisms, Piaget's discoveries did lay the groundwork for our understanding of cognitive development. So that does it for our lesson on Piaget and cognitive development. If you did enjoy what you watched, please do feel free to like and subscribe. It is always appreciated and it will keep you posted for when I post new stuff. I will see you all later.